Well, I'm really excited to be here with Corey Lynn Tate, and uh, we're here for her exhibition, Art Lover, at Contemporary Calgary. Uh, Corey Lynn, first question, why Art Lover? How did that come to be? Why is that uh, the name you chose for this exhibition? I think with this body of work, it was kind of a, a cheeky ode to my love of the nude in painting and how you know, when I first started painting, it was the first thing that I really loved, Renaissance painting, classical paintings. And then as I went through school and, you know, looked at kind of feminist readdressals of, of objectification in painting and all of these things, it was like this shameful secret that I wasn't really allowed to love these paintings. And so there was this push and pull and conflict of being so attached to the subject matter but it not really being considered academic enough or not being considered a, a kind of viable subject in contemporary painting. And I was kind of gifted this bag of penthouse magazines and I was looking through, I was like, well, these are all the things I love to paint. Like, and the, the images themselves are kind of absurd and kind of funny to me. Um, but it, all these things, like this lush fabrics and, and poses and you know, all these things. So I thought I would just try it. The thing that happened was that the meaning really shifted and it became about the subject and the figure in the painting. It took away that objectification. Just that transfer of meaning, the way that painting um, shifts, shifts the kind of narrative in the image. I often will just come up with a, with a toned ground that I want to start with and then all of the color mixing and decisions happen uh, as I paint. The first few layers of painting I'm kind of trying to find some kind of event or form that resonates and then try to maintain that throughout the painting. I think with the subject matter I wanted an intimate scale. I was worried about what would happen if I made them large and now I'm starting to make them bigger but it was really important for me to know that I could keep the intimacy in the painting and it wouldn't become you know a kind of spectacle of it would still be personal. So Corey Lynn um, one of the things that this exhibition showcases is a series of uh, grayscale paintings which is quite a departure it seemed from the the more colorful ones in the other room. Can you tell us a little bit about how you came to these grayscale paintings? Yeah these paintings were actually <laughs> basically my COVID paintings so when the shutdown happened there was a few weeks where I was not going to the studio and was going to try and work from home and that I realized was not going to work. When I finally realized that the studio was empty, the building was empty, the streets were empty, I could go there and be safe. I'd hit a point where I was so frustrated with color and color decisions that I just decided I'm making underpaintings. All I want to do is make underpaintings. Um, I had never allowed myself to buy tubed black so <laughs> I bought a tube of chromatic black and I brought, bought some different grays and I thought I'll make underpaintings. And so I was making these paintings and realizing that there was no, there was no stress involved in making them. Like it was, it was completely, I didn't have to make decisions about color on the go. So my brush strokes were so much more free and confident. And then I realized that I didn't want to paint over them. I wanted them to be finished paintings. So the underpainting became the final piece. And I think it became more about these mixing of warm and cool grays and, uh, and just this kind of calmness that something with this, the subject matter, everything just calmed right down. So from the grayscale paintings, we come to some that are much more high key and, and bright and quite different from the subtleties of the other room. Uh, where did these come from? How did you arrive at, at this series of work? These were the first paintings I made um, with using porn as source matter. So these were made at the Banff Center. I did not know how I was gonna use this subject matter in a way that would be okay with me. And so these were the first and I really, you know, I had a friend before I did the residency say to me, just go there and paint exactly what you wanna paint. So, um, so you can see they're a little bit thinner and a little bit more immediate uh, and the color is a lot, you know, it's a lot of high key colors uh, and so I just was trying to be intuitive and not overwork them there wasn't a you know a, a really intense underpainting um, so yeah much more on the surface 
Thanks, Corey Lynn, very much for today's uh, talk. I really enjoyed it, and I uh, certainly learned a lot more about your work, and I think a lot of the uh, audience will appreciate your, your candor in discussing your practice. So thank you so much. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, you can come and see Corey Lynn Tate's Art Lover down at Contemporary Calgary on until January 30th.